here in Kansas City, there is where the Kansas River and the Missouri River meet. There is a, a park called Lewis and Clark Park, which is also called Caw Point. Uh, actually, it goes out to a point uh, where you would actually drop into the Kansas River um, where the boat ramp is at. And the Missouri is on the left side of the boat ramp, and then you can go up into the Kansas River as well. And so you could hit both rivers right there. That's where they meet. Um, in 2019, when COVID hit, the parking lot there at Caw Point caused a huge problem for cops and for the city and for the businesses right around Caw Point because it became a hangout spot for, it was, there was a lot of drag racing. Um, there was a lot of just, a lot of things going on. There was some shootings and things like that. So, uh, well actually I have some video here that I took. Sorry for the quality, but it was on my phone. I was so shocked when I got to the boat ramp this night that I actually filmed it. So, here's that. Alright, Nick or whoever, this is for you. This is Caw Point right here. Looks pretty boring, doesn't it? Oh wait, let me come down here. Oh wait, somebody's drag racing right there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let me kind of show you that this is now Caw Point. I think that was either a gunshot or something else. That's crazy. Dude, people in mean, it. Just chilling. Like, dude. I know what's going on right now. And Nick, or whoever's watching Nick, like, that's what, this is only half of the parking lot. Oh, there's a guy over here with his hand. Was that right around his neck? Literally, these. This is all the. Dude. See, I feel like I'm at like a festival. Wow. All right. Going down to the. Uh, Here's the bottom part where I should be at, boat ramp. But it still gets crazy down here. But I'm gonna pull over right there and just kinda chill out. Boat ramp for Cobb Point. See that, it's right here. That That's that's that sidewalk last time I told you about. Uh, of course you got your boat ramp right there. And then you got some more people down there partying. So. Dude, that, this is the end. It's most insane I've ever seen it. This is in, incredibly insane. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I'm not typically scared of people. Um, I can usually get along with, with, with anybody. But a guy with a boat going through that crowd, uh, going through just that, that um, hangout, uh, just I'm, it made me feel awkward. It, it did. But, but I ended up, I got my boat in the water and... Everything was fine. I went and I fished the Kansas a little bit. I don't think I got very many bites. I didn't. I don't think I really caught anything. Maybe one or two. So after I dropped the boat, parked the the truck and trailer, said what's up to everybody hanging out in the parking lot, came back down to my boat, fished the Kansas River for a little bit, maybe an hour or two. Uh, didn't have too much luck. So it was just one of those nights. Before I came back in uh, to actually leave. I went ahead and I wanted to go ahead and get close to the Missouri River and I noticed that this, there was just a, once you get closer to it, there's a, a drop off, a huge, it was like 20, 25 foot drop off and I wanted to fish that. So I went ahead, I saw the drop off, I parked a little bit, park, anchored the boat a little bit in front of that and once I anchored the boat in front of that drop off, I fished the drop off there for about 30 minutes to an hour. I didn't catch any fish at the drop off there. I wish I did, but I mean, it's probably a good spot. I've heard a lot of good stories out there at, at Caw Point. A lot of people catching a lot of things out there, but I didn't have any luck that night. 
actually. I didn't have any luck at all that night because um, when I pulled, I for some reason, I pulled my anchors up first and I started going backwards down the Missouri River. And then I was like, it's fine. I'll just go, you know, start my boat and just get out of here and go head back to the boat ramp. Well, I guess I must have left my key turned and I had a dead battery. So I'm now going down the Missouri River backwards and I'm having to, <laughs> uh, this, is, this is an awesome story. Uh, so I'm now going back down the Missouri River backwards and I look up to see where I'm at and I'm just like, I'm actually, I'm way down, way further than where I thought I would be. Uh, the Missouri just, it just swept me wet away and I was going backwards down the Missouri and what I did, I don't know why, I just instantly threw both my anchors out, um, 50 foot rope on both and none of them held and they just were scraping the ground and I was going almost faster once I throw the anchors out there. I went ahead and grabbed the trolling motor battery in the front and brought it to the back, finally got it started. And so I had, I put it in, in forward, so it started moving forward so that I could just get going and it not die on me. So it was moving forward, but I saw these anchor lines coming down and I was like, I was like, oh no, I didn't want the anchor lines to hit the prop. Otherwise I'd be, so, <laughs> so otherwise I would be done for um, if it wrapped up in that prop. I'd be heading somewhere down the Missouri backwards. But, um, so I, I just left it, left it alone, left it in forward, jumped to the front of the boat, started pulling both anchors up. I finally got both of them up at the same time and dropped them in the boat. Right when that happened, I crash in. I, <laughs> so right when I get both of the anchors up from the front of the boat, I drop them in. I go back to grab the wheel because I'm just going in like forward. I'm going pretty quick. And I didn't really, I wasn't staring or looking at what was ahead of me, but I just bashed right into, there's a cliff right there across from the boat ramp. I just bashed right into the cliff, and which threw me onto the, onto the little rock island, and my boat was still, my boat was almost spinning around the water. Well, I was able to jump back in it, and without, of course, I hit a, hit a rock or two with my prop um, while I went away, but I finally got back to the boat ramp, and I was just, um, I was, I was shaking. I, I, I don't know why I didn't have this on film. I wish I, I did, but I was just shaking. And so I sat there at the boat ramp and I just, I cast, I casted some lines out. I don't even know if I had anything on them or not. I just wanted to try and calm myself down. And then I heard all the noise from above still there. It was like two or three in the morning. They were still there. And then right when I was calming down and about, I was, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get my, my truck and back the trailer down and get, the, get out of here for the night. You know, I felt like I kind of got away with one that night. All of a sudden, someone starts shooting from the top of the parking lot there. There's a top parking lot and then there's a bottom parking lot. You'll kind of see that in the video. But somebody started shooting a gun. And I, I think there was about 30 rounds that went off. So it was a pretty good clip. I think it was a 30 round clip. Start shooting from the top parking lot to the bottom parking lot um, and down into the water. I mean, I don't think that nobody was aiming for me, I don't think, but there was a couple of, I could hear them going into the water around me pew, pew, and I was pew. like, you gotta be kidding me. This is like the worst night in the world. Of course, I'm by myself too. So put this in perspective, I had talked to a guy that um, said he had pulled his boat out one night and there was a dead body up there. I'm like, oh great, thanks for telling me that. I'm gonna go uh, get my truck now, but yeah, I waited till the shooting stopped, and then um, about five minutes later, somebody came back by with and shot about six in the water. Pew, pew, um, pew, pew, and then I waited pew, about pew. ten minutes, and then went and got my truck, got back uh, back. So I, so that was it. Went, got the truck, backed it in, got the heck out of there, and I was probably shake. I was shaking like getting it in, but I mean, it's kind of funny to think about now. But going backwards on the Missouri River and just gaining so much speed and knowing that the battery's dead and that I could hit one, I could hit anything and just flip this boat. Um, that was one of my scariest times. Um, if you guys have anything like that when you're so scared or if you guys want to just laugh at me, go ahead and put them in the comments. Um, that's what this video is for, just kind of going over boater safety. Um, 
it is nice it is nice though i will say i had three batteries on my boat that night and so i could still go between each one if i wanted to it's just going backwards it was just the amount of time it took to get the batteries there and so whenever you go out if i were you i mean that's one thing i did learn is to always have your batteries charged um and always have a gas can and fill up because uh you never know how much gas your engine eats. You never know. You never know. So, all right, guys, that's my story um, of me at Caw Point. Since that time, Caw Point, before that, was always a 24-hour ramp, uh, which was great because you could hit the Missouri River. Um, you could hit. You could hit the the end of the Kansas River up near you know Kemper Arena and, and things in there. But ever since that happened, ever since 2019 and all the stuff that happened there. Uh, happened uh, the cops they just couldn't handle all the complaints there was there's a couple of businesses around there so now um, I, I'm not sure if it's still like this but I believe that it is still um, they, they close it at I think 11 o'clock now or 12 but they actually if your trucks left left there they'll actually leave, uh, like lock you in there and uh, I, they might come and unlock it for you but it's just it's not the same um, it kind of sucks because that was a good ramp um, to access it was it was good access to the Missouri and the Kansas especially if you had a smaller boat you can get to smaller places on the Missouri and then come back into the Kansas um, but hopefully they change that soon if they have let me know in the comments alright guys I also wanted to say thank you to our subscribers and those people that watch us and for Kansas City we love Kansas City we love the fishing around here um, we love the community that we have with you guys um, we've been able to meet a lot of you guys and that's been awesome and so uh, we can't wait to start fishing again here once the ice melts if you guys have any suggestions for us different places we might want to fish um, even on the Kansas or if you guys know some secret areas um, that you don't mind sharing with us I mean hey I get it but at the same time um, we're always open to new ideas um, we've done we started out um, just like a lot of you guys started out just walking with buckets through trails trying to get through to the kansas river trying to get on some spots on the missouri river also guys any funny stories or scare, uh, scary stories or uh, tips tricks uh, but for real we appreciate you guys happy new year 2023 let's catch some big ones